Okay, so now guys, we are done with the front end setup, and now let's begin with the back end, which is admin dashboard integration. So, for example, if you create a admin slash dashboard, then you'll be able to access the dashboard. So, for that, guys, let's install one simple admin dashboard. So, uh, let's use Bootstrap admin dashboard free, which is available. So we can find the start bootstrap here and we have many free dashboards. So either you can use this or any darker version. So, so here we find, let me download this free download and here it's downloaded. Okay. So now guys, let's open this folder. Windows E, go to downloads. So let's extract this, extract all. Extract it and now let's open this and here you find all the files with uh, CSS and images, okay? so yep so what i want only the setup of sidebar and few things so you can just open this in editor let's open yep and now you will be able to find this in index.html file the basic setup let me just view that file here index.html double click so here you see basic things with the sidebar nav bar so let's get started let's move on the index.html and here you have one css this is the simple data table and this is all.js of font awesome okay so we need to copy this three cdn links copy this and get back to our laravel application so first step guys let's uh, close all the files because it's too messy and now let's go to resource um, views then layouts inside this we have a admin blade file which we already created that so let me paste here so before this we have to set up few things like uh, the html tags so what is this this class is not required because it's a tailwind class which we don't use that so now copy this all complete control a c and paste here and now let's replace the cdn links here so just paste it so here we get and we got our cdn links now get back and then you have a class here in the body tag so let's copy that paste here in the admin blade file okay not in the front end in the admin now get back and this is the nav bar let me just minimize and this is a layout side nav and this is the side nav exact side nav so you can find this and this is the layout content in the main tag and this is the container fluid so till here you can just copy it and uh, yep let me just minimize what are the fields here we see okay and this is the footer area after the footer we are side nav content div end and your main script tags so in this we need the bootstrap the script js and this chart and all is not required okay and we need this simple uh, data table and demo so let's copy this get back and paste here okay let me just keep this jquery cd and link paste it uh, yep and here we are going to copy this top two and paste okay and now guys uh, we need to set up the files for this so first we are going to set up the navbar let's go back to our uh, partials inside this partial i will create a new folder called 
admin okay inside this admin we'll keep the admin nav bar so nav bar dot blade dot php and paste the complete code so just pasted it now again create a file named sidebar dot blade dot php and inside this sidebar you can copy the sidebar code so here is my complete sidebar okay or you want means you can just copy only this part paste here so this is our sidebar done and now get back to the admin layout file okay and here you need to change according to your requirement okay so partial admin dot navbar so this is my admin navbar same way you have to copy for the admin sidebar so let me add sidebar okay so which is the sidebar but before this you see that we have a setup so you need to copy this div and yes so import it here this is my area and then you have to end this complete tags i mean we need to copy this first row also paste it let me minimize the row and here you end with the main div tag and also a div tag which is given here copy it paste so my div ends and then main area and after this main area the main div i mean footer comes so let's create a file here named footer footer played dot php and paste it done now get back copy this include file and mention here admin footer file so after this footer you have two divs let's paste it and this div belongs to this div and finally last div we have pasted here that's it so our setup is ready and now guys we need to paste this content inside our uh, blade dashboard file okay this is a layout file so you cannot keep the content here okay so for that what you have to do go inside the resource views admin inside this admin folder create a dashboard dot blade dot php file and now guys inside this dashboard we have to extend it so let's extend layouts dot admin okay so inside this admin layout we have the content also so at section extend the content area okay and here at end section so what is this content you have to yield that inside your admin layout file so let me yield it here at y i e l d yield at content so this all the dashboard contents you have to put it here so which can be imported from your blade file okay dashboard blade file perfect so now guys everything is set and now we need to set up the admin dashboard routes so for that how you can access it so let me just show you here so on this admin dashboard i have to display this ui okay so let's get back where it is in the dashboard i mean code laravel application go to routes uh, web.php so i want to create a separate uh, admin routes so for that you can just create a new file here admin.php and just copy and paste this same way and add admin.php that's it so now you can use the basic routes let's paste here and done so route colon colon get method of forward slash admin forward slash dashboard okay and then you have to create a controller which is dashboard controller inside the admin folder so let's control tilde symbol to open the terminal php artisan make colon controller inside the admin folder forward slash dashboard controller hit enter 
so your controller is created you can find that in app http controller where admin folder inside that dashboard controller let's copy this get back this dashboard controller colon colon class comma goes to the index function so you have to create one index function before that import the dashboard class here okay so now let's go to the dashboard create a function public uh, public function the function name index open and close return view function which is inside the admin folder dot dashboard blade file okay so yes let me see where it is inside the resource views admin we have a dsh bbo ard okay let's access it refresh perfect so we got the blade file guys but the ui is not looking good because we have not yet imported its css files so as you see that in this index we have a style.css file so which goes inside the css folder style.css you need to copy this Control c and directly paste in the editor so for that you need to go to your public and inside this public i will create a folder name uh, assets oops i made a spelling mistake here assets and inside this asset folder name admin and inside this admin folder create a folder name css and inside this css paste the file okay style.css and let me create one more folder named js inside this admin folder okay so we need to paste the js files also let's go back to the editor and here we have two uh, script files let us select them both copy that and paste here okay so paste it and done so now you need to uh, link those files into your admin blade file which is layout okay so here you see control x double curly brace use asset function and now call your path which is admin slash css style dot css okay and for the script also so here you have assets i mean asset function inside this assets then go to your assets folder admin folder and then your js folder and script file same with this to asset function go to assets folder admin folder then the path of data table okay so all done now you'll be able to see the ui perfect guys so all set and here you see that two times it has been pasted it is because i think uh, we have set up something wrong here where it is oops so here we have pasted two times let me remove this it was because we have copied from the front end and pasted it right so i just forgot that to remove it so now you can just refresh and here it's all fixed perfect so same way guys you can uh, create all the requirements as per this uh, database like category brands products so guys let's see step by step okay so now let's begin with this uh, setup of this navbar like i want this to be changed to laravel e-commerce and remove this search bar and here i will be displaying the logged in username all that things so yep now we can get back let me close this we do not require now the template and let's get back to our laravel code close all the files let's go to resource views inside the layout we have a partial in the admin we have a navbar so inside this navbar we have a navbar brand which is about laravel ecom okay and refresh so here you see that you have it and let's go to this drop down so 
this is my drop down let me break it down so which is using a, a icon and after this icon i want to use the authenticated user name okay so currently it is not logged in so it is going to give error so as you can see that uh, it is telling that attempt to read property of name on null because it is not logged in so for that you can use auth user or you can just use a ternary operator and tell no user okay refresh and here it fixes perfect so now guys on this logout button you have to set up a logout code so i have already taught you about how to set up a logout so we can find that in the nav bar let me close this and here is the front end nav bar and this is a form tag let's control c and paste here okay and you can remove this drop down item that's it so get back refresh and you see that logout uh, url has come here okay let me click so it says that go to login page okay so now guys uh, we need to set up this if you try to access the dashboard you should not be able to access it until you are logged in okay so for that write the simple code using uh, in the route using the middleware so yep go to the routes admin.php and here create a route colon colon middleware function and oops you can just remove this which we do not require so if you require you can add it in future and let me push this route here inside the admin dashboard i mean this admin dashboard route inside this auth middleware so until unless you are logged in you will not be able to access this admin dashboard now let me enter here it redirects back to the login page so if you try to access again it goes back so let me log in as an user with at gmail.com and enter so i have logged in okay so here you see that with has logged in and able to access the admin dashboard perfect so now guys uh, as you see that this is a normal user who is trying to access which the role is not given as he is admin or a user so anybody can register and anybody can access your admin dashboard so to skip this or to protect this you have to add a middleware okay so you have to create a separate middleware basically so now let's go and create one simple middleware php artisan make colon uh, middleware which is admin middleware hit enter and here your middleware is created now we can go inside app uh, http middleware admin middleware perfect and now inside this return you have to write your logic uh, 